Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. I'm here in my secret underground bunker somewhere in the Midwest, bringing you another Waking Titan 1.5 report. I have a lot of info to get through today, so let's get right to it. Events of April 13th, 2018 and April 14th, 2018. First thing that happened on Friday the 13th, by the way, this is the birthday of Arnaud Lacour. Arnaud Lacour uh, is a fictional character in the Waking Tech Titan ARG. He's a indie game developer that is supposedly using the Wear platform. And we had we got his phone number and other information from the PAX East live drop last week. And his phone number just had a standard um, voicemail message in French. But then yesterday, April 13th, his birthday, uh, according to the Wear website, the phone message changed. And this is the uh, phone number, 514-448-1493, if you want to call it yourself. The message is in French, but the message changed and is a different person talking and it says uh, well it says bonjour hello and then it says I'm a friend of Arnaud thanks a lot for your calls wishes unfortunately Arnaud's condition got worse and he can't call you back and for now the company is closed so I, I mentioned this in a um, base showcase but this is our first evidence that the wear that the wear technology is dangerous. Uh, the wear technology supposedly projects video game and other digital media into your brain while you're sleeping. It lets you lucid dream in order to control a computer when your brain is the computer. And this is the first evidence that it is hazardous to your health because our nod was developing something with the Wear technology, and as far as his website and bio says, he didn't have any previous health um, problems, and he's only 32 years old, so most likely whatever health problem is happening to him is likely caused by his use of Wear's technology because he's been with Wear since October 2017, according to the Wear website. So that's a lot of time for him to use Wear's technology and eventually suffer whatever ill effects it cause, causes. Okay, and then at approximately 1.38 p.m., um, oh no, I said EST, it's CST, sorry. Central Standard Time, not EST. But at 1.38 p.m. Central Time on April 14th, WakingTitan.com changed again. The status, um, it's, most of this it already said. It said, if you type in status, it says code dash five, Monarch repository, data loss imminent, booting up command center, version 11, pending approval by Monarch, and the th new thing that it said was rebooting. So that really got people's attention that it's something new was booting up, and so people were waiting for something new to happen. And then the next thing that happened was people who signed up as indie game developers on the Wear website started getting a new email, and I got this email. I um, had applied as the Spacing Guild. The Spacing Guild is my um, No Man's Sky community that uh, navigates through the galaxy and visits other players and builds community in various other ways. So I applied as a game developer, our group as a game developer studio. So my email said to the Spacing Guild, congratulations, your studio has been shortlisted to be eligible for a Wear dev account. 
We now need more information about your game. Ware is looking for our first generation of premium partners. In order to do so, we have opened five positions that will enable you to receive a Ware dev kit amongst other benefits. One out of these five partner studios will also receive a grand prize of a thousand United States dollars. So we're getting a new <laughs> sweepstakes chance to win um, prizes from the Waking Titan ARG. Last time it was 10,000 Atlas passes. Now it's five dev kits, um, and one of the people that one of the people or groups that wins a dev kit has a chance to win a thousand dollars. So. Uh, let me go ahead and read the next part, and then I'll tell you what the Spacing Guild is doing about that. Um, what, and then it goes on to say, what are we looking for? Applications or games with procedurally generated content, relation to the mind and consciousness, science fiction themes, strong atmosphere. Which I'm not sure what the strong atmosphere thing means unless they mean a metaphorical way. But anyway, I'll speculate about that later. So get together and have fun creating a proposal for an existing or new game that you are currently working on. Don't think you have what it takes. Don't panic. Just try to imagine something creative, something exciting that will make us say, whoa, Sorry, I can't read my own writing. Projects that are still in their alpha phase will be will be accepted. If you are currently in a design phase, that's perfectly fine with us, as long as you can provide a clear idea of what your project is about. The projects will be judged by the Ware community by voting for their favorite projects. Feel free to forward this application form to any studios that might be interested in Ware development. You have until April 28th to submit your application. So, again, this is probably, I mean, they. I don't think they're really seriously expecting us to be a game studio and to develop a game. This is kind of world building for the ARG. Um, that we, they want us to kind of role play and act like we are indie developers and create something, some kind of product, whether it just be a trailer or, you know, concept art and stuff like that for people to vote on. Um, this is kind of a fun, I really like this idea that they they want us to come up with like neat and interesting ideas and I went there there's an application form and I went to it already and I looked through the questions and you can like submit your YouTube channel you can submit a trailer for the game you can submit concept art as as game as files um, and all this other stuff and of course all the gameplay ideas that you have how will it utilize the wear technology and so on um, so it's, it seems like it's going to be a really fun thing, and once everybody has submitted all of their game ideas and um, information, the community, I, I assume it means everybody who has signed up for the WHERE email list will get to vote on these different things, and the five lucky winners of the voting will have the um, development kits mailed to them. Now, I'm guessing these development kits are just kind of for show. Uh, I'm sure they're not actual technology that lets you uh, play games while you're sleeping, but um, we'll find out. They're probably like the Atlas Passes. They're just a cool looking thing. <laughs> You know, speaking of Atlas Pass, I've got I've got mine right there. They're just a cool looking thing that basically memorabilia from the Waking Titan ARG. Um, but it will be interesting to see if these five 
indie developers that win these dev kits will have some kind of special role in the ARG going forward. And if they're going to have to do something special to progress the storyline, like, um, you know, basically, like I said, this is like world building. We are playing a role in the, the ARG and we are becoming a part of the storyline instead of just watching and and seeing what happens to the story as it, as it progresses, we are actually taking part in the ARG. And really that's the nature of alternate reality games, is that the players are supposed to be players in the game and affect how the storyline goes. So it's pretty exciting. So if you haven't already, make sure you go to the Wear website and sign up for their email list and hopefully you can get one of these emails. If not, maybe someone who got one can forward you the email so you can participate in this in this sweepstakes. Yeah, I'm not sure what to call it exactly. It's like a, um, I w it's, it's not a random drawing. It's some kind of a contest where you have to submit good content and people are going to vote on it. But anyway. After we got those emails, and oh, and by the way, the Spacing Guild, um, we're we're already making lots of plans. We have lots of members, and a lot of them are very talented. So we're going to be putting together quite a impressive game that we are developing. Um, besides just myself, who has made YouTube videos, we also have people that are good at editing videos like Boomstick Joe, my vice director of the Spacing Guild, and we've got uh, people that are talented at making music and stuff like that. And uh, lots of other people are giving the ideas for the gameplay of what our game is going to be like. So the we at the Spacing Guild are definitely going to be contenders for this contest. And we're definitely going to try to win. So. Um, look forward to seeing us on the voting someday okay and then the next thing that happened at 3 35 p.m. it should say CST central central time 3 35 p.m. central time the the status command on Waking Titan changed again other than the I didn't write I didn't rewrite the stuff that's always at the top but the new part that was added said Error. Unable to connect with repository. Warning. Memory dump failed. Biomet biometric backup initiated. And it gave this bit.ly link which led to a audio, audio recording website where you could listen to this audio file. And the audio file... I, I can't listen to it on my PlayStation so I don't know what it sounded like. But they s people said that it, it was a PC PGP uh, thing, which I guess it was probably, I'm guessing it was a lot of noise and it created a word list if you put it through the right type of decoder. And the word list was drunken, disabled, tiger, everyday, hockey, determined, endow, coherence, freedom, guitarist, framework, stuff like that. And somehow the really smart people decoded that through hex and it led to an imgur um, file. Uh, i.imgur.com slash qkjxsgy.gif and I will, I will put all of this on a pinned comment on this video so you'll be able to go to the bit.ly link and listen to the audio file and the imgur link and see the see the gif the gif or whatever it's called um, it is a it is a gif image of the same corrupted satellite picture that we've seen before except this time it's actually moving it's got like static going across it and the image is a bit more clear than the previous one it doesn't have the the same glitch effect messing up uh, most of it just kind of has this static going over the image. Um, but yeah, it's and the thing that's changed on it, it now has like sleepers, images of sleepers, which are probably the people that are using the the wear technology. 
and it used to be red near China on the satellite image of the Earth. Now the red spot has moved down into like the Indian Ocean or close to Australia, something like that. L look at the image yourself, um, and there's lots of other things on that image that people have been pointing out and trying to figure out what it all means. Um, and it has the Myriad logo and all that still. So anyway, um, that's that. I think that is probably it for what's going to happen today. I think it was mainly to introduce this new contest of creating our own video game, indie game ideas and submitting them so that people can vote on them later. And that will help to progress the um, the Waking Titan ARG farther. And like I said, the deadline on it said April 28th, so we know that sometime after that something big's going to happen, like this voting. So I don't know if this April 28th date is basically telling us that nothing else is going to happen with the ARG until then, or if we'll get some other things from Waking Titan until then, but if so, this will be my last Waking Titan report until April 28th, if nothing else happens before then, but um, I think that's about it. So if you haven't already, go to where and sign up for their email list so that you can enter the contest. Uh, I'll put the link for that website along with the other links that we got in this this section of the ARG, and that should be it. So, I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day, and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.